from the world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden in Midtown Manhattan. Tonight, the New York Knicks taking on the Cleveland Cavaliers. Here we go. Cleveland starts with the basketball. Oh, mistake there as the pass stolen by the Knicks. Count it. No and one. There was some contact there. When the ball's in his hands, we all knew what was going to happen. Here comes the screen. Fine to shoot. Finishing inside the paint on that one. You see, you can't actually get mesmerized by the ball. You actually have to focus on the dribbler's belly button. I know that may sound cheesy, but trust me, he can't go anywhere without his core. That's what you like to see off the pick and roll. Nice, easy basket. It looks like he's using his ball handling to feel the game out. I know it looks like he's just playing around out there trying to get the fans going. That is true, but he's also finding his rhythm. To love. Able to convert inside. Old school equals high percentage. Let's see what the Knicks can do here. Here we go. Here we go. Brunson. Probing the defense. With the fadeaway. Burns him for the basket. Woo! Did you see that? Eyes to the rim, and the rest was all net. To love. Nothing going here on that drive. Yes, and the foul. And a chance at three coming up. The defender was actually in a good position there. They even made a decent play on the ball. But sometimes those bounces go the other way. Still, stay aggressive out there. Play puts them up early in this one. To Julius Randle. There's the toss. Flushes down the slam. Jay, they make it look so easy. Yeah, but it's really not that easy. And as a passer, if your pass is just a fraction too early or a fraction too late, that throws the whole playoff. The timing of this has to be impeccable. Mitchell shot off the mark. To Brunson. Knicks with four to shoot. Has a chance. Not that time. Over to the right side. Love. Two. That's what you want. I like that. Two points. Take them any way you can get them. To Julius Randle. The screen sets him up for two. Bread and butter. And there are a few that can do it better off the screen. Now a whistle. And Cleveland is going to use a timeout as they'll talk things over in a one-point basketball game.
Changes coming from both sides right now. Stepping in for New York, number 13, Evan Fournier. To love. Kevin Love, three for three. That's a perfect start. Hand down, man down. You got to get up and contest the shot. New York Knicks basketball. Brunson to Julius Randle. Tough looking shot there. Still gets it to go down. He's been doing this for years. The physicality in which he plays. No one wants to see that. You're going to leave the game with black and blue marks all over your body. They'll get it down low to Lopez. To Love. Julius Randle snatching it out of the air. That's out. Last touch by Julius Randle. On oh, a pass stolen by the Knicks. to get that one to go and a lot of times in this league teams take days off but if this defense keeps maintaining that style of pace defensively this is going to be a dogfight and a chance coming up at the line you see this all the time the defensive players establishing his presence on the court and also checking to see how far the refs are going to let him go first free throw is good at the line. Brunson. Here comes the screen. Cleans it up. Nice follow-up on the dunk there. An easy two. Get back on defense. <laughs> Kevin Love looking good. Four for five. Long key from three-quarters court. That'll do it for the first quarter. The Cavaliers have the lead. One of those games, every shot seems to be going down. Only one quarter in the books, Jay. Defensively, what needs to be tightened up? I don't know if I'm watching an all-star game or a regular season game, because I'm telling you right now, Ed, if it was the regular season, which it is, by the way, you probably want to see some teams play some defense. Yes, tough shot. It's got to go up to go in. That's dangerous. A little hezzy cross and knockdown. Lots of options going to open up as the game unfolds. Green coming. Rose. That's rebounded by the Cavaliers. Great feed. It's a big finish. I see the easy dunk, but what I don't see is energy. Scream, do something. Get yourself emotionally involved in the game. Rose into the front court. Minute gone by in the second quarter. Old school. Backs his man down for the basket. You feel that? I see the confidence building. Cavs at the controls. Paul Neto against the former MVP. To Rubio. Five to shoot for Cleveland. Rubio. 
Here's a chance from long range. That won't go. Fournier. And stuffs it home. Oh, man, did you see that swiftness? He dumped that thing like a tennis ball. It looked like that in his hand. Rubio into the front court. His team up by one. do the rest slam done now the Cavs gonna signal for timeout as they'll talk things over here in the second quarter hey everyone check this out the first 1,000 fans in our next home game will receive a free team poster even better three lucky fans will win a poster next both coaches hitting the reset button fresh legs coming onto the floor It is NBA action on EA Sports. I'm at Cohen. Great to be joined by Jay Williams. Should be a terrific game here tonight. From the world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden in Midtown Manhattan. Tonight, the New York Knicks taking on the Cleveland Cavaliers. The Knicks able to win the opening tip, and we're underway here at Madison Square Garden. Scores from the post. Old school equals high percentage. Donovan Mitchell with the rock.
take stock of the floor. Trying to cash in with the step back. When the ball's in his hands, we all knew what was going to happen. To Brunson. Jared Allen rejects it. Just incredible timing on that swat. Off the assist. There's some players out there that like the freedom of space, and then we have the anomalies. We have the players who feel comfortable being uncomfortable, and almost the physicality of the game centers them and puts them right on balance every time. Nothing going here on that drive. Jared Allen, huge block. They'll recover, four to shoot. That approach, that's what you want to see. Nice save. To love. Finishing inside the paint on that one. You see, you can't actually get mesmerized by the ball. You actually have to focus on the dribbler's belly button. I know that may sound cheesy, but trust me, he can't go anywhere without his core. Brunson throws it up. That pass stolen by the Cavs. Here comes the screen. To love. Cavs with four to shoot. Has a look. Knocks it down from mid-range. That was a tough shot. The guy was in your pocket. He even contested the shot. Everything was going according to plan until then. Brunson to Julius Randle. Using the post to his advantage there and the finish at the rim. He took it out on the rim that time. Oh, there's no better feeling than after throwing that one down, hanging on the rim a little bit, looking at your opponent beneath you, making him recognize that's where you'll be the entire ball game. Two minutes left in the first quarter. To love. Five on the shot clock. That's no good. To Brunson. Nothing going here on that drive. Here comes the screen. Brunson. Deep two there. Won't go. Mitchell with the basketball. Lead is two. Julius Randle snatching it out of the air. Love. That kid can block out the sun, huh? Finish at the rim. Now the Cavs gonna signal for timeout as they'll talk things over here in the first quarter. Jetty Osman. Rose to Fournier. Now pass taken away by Cleveland. Pick up that sense of urgency. Here's a chance to break the top. Love. That's off the side of the rim. No good. The follow won't go either because he had no body control. You have to be able to control your body when you attack the rim at full speed. That's part of your concentration. People assume concentration just on the rim, but your body control is everything. Be able to speed yourself up or slow yourself down. 
to Fournier. Oh, had him going there for a second. Short jumper won't go down. That's how you do it. You keep riding him to the basket, and if the refs aren't calling it, keep being physical. Keep knocking him off balance. Nice follow-up on the dunk there. I don't think I could do that on a five-foot rim. I can, because that's my only choice. <laughs> Has a chance. Missed it. Not much more you could ask for from the defense there. First quarter in the books. The Cavaliers have the lead. to the second quarter. Neither team sees control in the first. Some interesting things, though, certainly on display. I know you're wondering why I'm clapping. Both teams came out in the first quarter, and they executed. When do you ever see that, Ed? You have to continue to bring those competitive juices into the second quarter, and we're going to have one heck of a ball. Game. Another follow stays out. Here's Rubio into the front court. Their score, 12-8. Nothing going here on that drive. Yes, and a foul. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. Ed, you ever bail out of something at the last second? That's what I saw right there from the defender. We call that no man's land. They weren't really committed to getting out of the way, committing a hard foul, or taking the brunt of the contact. Jetty Osman at the line for a chance at a three-point play. 56% for his career. Oh, he can't connect. Knocks it down off the step back. Can we all just agree that that handle is next level? But that jumper's wet, too. Mm. Here's Rubio up top. 14-10 the score. Trying to cash in, Ricky Rubio. He's finally on the board, makes his first shot. No doubt about where that one was headed. New York Knicks basketball. Rose. Here comes the screen. Oh, emphatic slam. Gotta love the rim rockers. Gotta be careful, though. Don't hang on the rim too long. You might get a T. Rubio into the front court. They lead it. Four-point game. Here comes the screen. So Lopez has a look. Gets a look. Can't hit. Gets it in the left corner. Fournier. Here comes the screen. Able to clear the rebound. To Rubio. Five to shoot for Cleveland. Unbothered by the defense as he drills it. Oh, don't see the read. Be the read. Now the coach of the Knicks is going to signal for a timeout as he'll take a moment to go over things here in the second quarter. Both coaches hitting the reset button. Fresh legs coming onto the floor. he'll go to the foul line. There's a very fine line between maximum effort and carelessness. I'm willing to live with a few mistakes and maximum effort than having to constantly remind my players to close out. And hits the first free throw.
Goes two for two at the line. Cash is in for two. As my mother would say to the defender, A for effort, F for results. Brunson to Rose. Nothing going here on that drive. And scores on the step back. Unguardable Jay. Mm, so deadly. Now look, part of that is God-given talent. But the other part is that ball speed combined with that handle. Oh, that's off the charts. But he always finds a way to slow himself down right before he goes into that shot. Levert, defended by Derrick Rose. Cavs with four to shoot. Jumper's good. Ooh, cool, calm, and collective. The three C's. His handles are effortless. Knicks with the basketball. To Brunson. Jared Allen able to recover with the block. Oh, he blocked that with authority. Has a chance. Rebound comes down to the Knicks. Oh, yeah, it's me and you, me and you. To Brunson. Almost unlucky bounce. Curling inside. Drive from the baseline, but it won't go down. To Brunson. Oh, good work to step in front. The pass taken away. That's called game plan execution to perfection. Every possession on the road is critical. to shoot for Cleveland. Going to launch beyond the arc. Cleans it up. Nice touch around the basket with the tip. In the paint, you need to finish just like that. Deep three at the buzzer. That's the end of the period. The Cavaliers with the lead. the Rose Report at halftime, and it's brought to you by EA Sports. The Cavaliers. And with that, I'm sending it back to Ed and Jay to bring you the rest of the game. Ball in possession of Cleveland. Here comes the screen. Goes to the right side. Cavs with four to shoot. Trying to cash in. Can't connect. Kevin Love not shaken for the early struggles. Maybe this is a sign of things to come. That's what I'm talking about, Ed. It's that simple. Put the ball in the bucket. To Rose. Here comes the screen. It's no good. Great defense. Kevin Love with the block. Jesse racing mistakes left and right. Here comes the screen. 
Levert with a shot, no good. Mitchell Robinson uh, tips it. Don't stare him down like that afterwards. Mitchell against the former MVP. To Love. Fires the three. No good. That's great defense. Just because you're an elite shooter doesn't mean you need to shoot the ball every possession. Maybe give a head fake, crack into the defender, get to the free throw line, see the ball go in the hole. Add two points to the board. Did you see the way that dribble freed him up? It created so much space. I did, but the defender didn't. Cavs at the controls. The drive, right to the basket. Plenty of contact, the shot no good. And one of the most underrated things in this game is quick lateral speed. Good job by utilizing that speed and taking away the lane. Brunson to Rose. Shot clock winding down. 4-3. Jalen Brunson showing off that toughness. Drills the three. I hope everyone here knows the golden rule. Guys, remember, sharing is caring. Nothing going here on that drive. On a pass stolen by the Knicks. You know, Ed, sometimes you're just more ready to play than your opponent. The intensity and the effort is off the charts. Now a whistle, and Cleveland is going to use a timeout as they'll discuss matters in what's now a three-point game. As a player, this doesn't always happen, but it's a beautiful thing when everybody is allowed to be on the same page. Scouting report is being executed. You're being efficient with your jump shooting. Your passes are crisp. You're listening to the coach on the sideline, and everything is working your way. You have to really appreciate these type of moments in the game of basketball. Some lineup changes now for both clubs. Robinson sends it away. That's out of bounds. Last touch by the Knicks. Fine to shoot. Mitchell. Shot off the mark. Good defense. Great contest by the D, but I want to see the coaching staff call the same exact play the next possession. Get that offensive player the ball. Let him prove that it wasn't the D. It was more in his own head. Brunson. New York with four to shoot. Has a look. Step back jumper. You know what I like about this pass play? Instead of putting his head down and forcing the action, he patiently waited for the play to develop. To love. He'll go to the foul line to shoot. The game is too tight for you to be taking risks like that. You want to avoid foul trouble at all costs. Jared Allen at the line for two shots. For his career, 77% at the line. First try at the line, no good. Good recovery. Hits the second free throw. The possession lies with New York. To Julius Randle. Driving right to the basket. From the painted area, won't go down. To love. Mitchell. That's how you defend. Shoot or shoot. Period. I don't want to hear any excuses. That's why you're on the floor. You keep doing what you're doing with that superior confidence. Mm. 
Fournier buries it on the catch and shoot. Desperation shot here from half court. Third quarter comes to an end. The Knicks have the lead. The Knicks to inbound here to start the fourth quarter. And they were able to flip the script in the third. Because remember, Jay, they trailed at the break. Yeah, but if they come out here in the fourth quarter and they think about protecting that lead, that is the wrong mindset. You don't want to protect anything. You want to go after it and hunt it. That's how you really get a win. Mitchell with it up top. His guy's down three. Well defended, shot no good. If it was anyone else, they'd be back on the bench for taking that shot. To Julius Randle. Gets it in the right corner. Let's it fly from long range. Tough shot, well defended. to love. Five right, to shoot for Cleveland. Here comes the screen. Has a chance. Deep two there. Won't go. To Fournier. Trying to cash in. The jumper's off the mark. Nothing going here on that drive. Curling inside to Love. Has a look. Knocks it down from mid-range. You see the savvy players, they can create contact. They can throw their arms into you, even their bodies into you. And as soon as the refs blow the whistle once or twice and you become hesitant defensively, they got you right where they want you. Perfect feed to set up the basket. Underutilized, underutilized, underutilized. Am I getting my point across? Let's see more of it. Now the Cavs, gonna signal for timeout. That's their first. Leaves them with one remaining the rest of the way. I know the fans didn't get a chance to hear this during the break, but the coaches are wearing a mic for the broadcast. I heard a lot of arguing inside the huddle. It lets you know that the intensity level is pretty high going into the fourth. Both teams tweaking their lineups. Here come some changes. Number 10. Entering the game for the New York Knicks. Number 11. Short jumper won't go down. The contest was good, but you being a nuisance was great. Continue to be that gnat that no matter how many times you swing at it, it never goes away. Let's it fly from beyond the arc, and he hits. What a smart play, and Ed, with barely no traditional low post players left in the game. You have 10 players on the perimeter. 
When you have a guy who's able to utilize his step back, that helps get shots over people with length. This day and age, very rarely is there a bad shot from the perimeter. To Lopez. Cleans it up. Offensive board. Another follow. No good. Let's see what the Knicks can do here. With the fade away. Burns him for the basket. This is where I go back into player mode. If the dude starts to try to have 40 points on me, I'm going to foul out. I'm going to start hitting him in places he's not used to being hit. I'm trying to do anything to throw him off his game. Second effort. Grabs his own miss and scores. Good concentration. There's some players out there that like the freedom of space, and then we have the anomalies. We have the players who feel comfortable being uncomfortable, and almost the physicality of the game centers them and puts them right on balance every time. Here comes the screen. Brunson. Robin Lopez pins it. That's why a rim protector is a necessity in this game. No good. Brunson. Stuffs it down with authority. Now whistle. And Cleveland is going to use a timeout. It's their second and final one of the last three minutes. They cannot stop the clock again. things up hockey line substitutions both teams making changes count the bucket for two you normally don't see that but that's the type of thing that keeps shooters in the league for a long time every once in a while they venture into the paint to Julius Randle Earns a trip to the foul line, Jay. I'm watching the coach's reaction right now, and I'll tell you, he's not going to be happy about that. The game comes down to the micro details. That wasn't a part of the plan right there. Goes two for two. There's the whistle and an intentional foul. Just their first in the final two minutes. So no free throws yet. He'll take the ball out of bounds. Smart play. You have fouls to use. Good way to manage the clock without burning the timeout. Here comes the reach and an intentional foul. Stops the clock with 30 seconds to go. Okay, now look over to the sideline and see what the staff is trying to draw up on the next play. That's good clock management thus far. Knocks down the first. Two for two on that trip. Cleveland has the basketball. Old school. Backs his man down for the basket. You've heard it before. Slow and steady wins the race. This approach might be working out after all. And they'll foul their man intentionally. So the clock is stopped with 11 seconds to play. Good foul right there. You want to stop the clock. First one goes down.
can't connect on the second, and he splits the pair. Revert with a shot, no good. Whistle blown in the eyes of the ref, intentional. Some players are built to handle these moments. On one end, you just sparked your team, and at the same time, you also got under your opponent's skin. Just want to manage through the emotions here and not take it too far. Able to convert on both free throws. It's a victory for the Knicks as they take care of business at home. That'll wrap things up. For Jay Williams and our entire crew, I'm Ed Cohen. This has been a presentation of the NBA on EA Sports.